Okay, using your TI Inspire cast to prove the graph of a rational function. I think this video is going to be really helpful for educators, including professors, but also for those of you who are taking AP exams where you may be allowed to use a calculator, but you can't put down as your answer, I got the answer by using my calculator, but you could use your calculator to verify, verify the suspicions that you do have. So let's use this step, uh, this set of steps for providing, for proving the sketch of the function f of x is equal to 5x plus 3 over 3x minus 7. Start off by assuming that f of x is a composite function, g of x divided by h of x, where g of x and h of x are polynomials that have no common factor. Um, let's go to our calculators, if you don't mind. And let's start by doing this. Let's put in our first function, the g of x function, which was 5x plus 3. And then let's store that, so control store if you follow the red keys on the screen and that was the g of x function so g of x you see it's already bold on this one because my calculator thinks there's already a g of x function in there and there is but i'm replacing that now so no big deal and let's put in the second function which was 3x minus 7 that was the h of x function the function that was in the denominator and this control store there and let's put that in as h of x so that's done and now let's build that that f of x function and let's just start let's do that by saying control no let's not do that let's not do it that way yeah let's do that control division and let's put we had g of x at the top didn't we g of x at the top and we had h of x down there at the bottom h of x at the bottom and then this is really important because if you go to control store right from there it's going to put that arrow there it's only going to store the h of x part so make sure you use that cursor there and it brings this whole thing over. Now you can store this whole function. So control store f of x. And if you want to see that just to make sure you have f of x in there. Whoops, sorry about that. To make sure you have f of x in there the way you wanted it, just hit f of x, hit enter, and there it is. And that's the way we wanted it to look. Now let's just go through and use the checklist that most people use for, for graphing a rational function. Um, we already made check for removable discontinuity and there wasn't any um, we could find the x-intercepts find the x-intercept by by finding g of x equals zero so we just use the solve function of your cast so solve g of x is equal to zero and just by using this notation right here comma x means in terms of x so what are we solving for solving for x and we get this value negative three fifths. So we have the point now negative three fifths zero. We can find any vertical asymptotes by setting h of x, right? If the denominator of a rational function goes to zero, we have a vertical asymptote. So we could test that by saying, hey, solve h of x equals zero comma x, that is in terms of x. And of course, if you put 7 thirds into this, you would get 0, and the function should go undefined. Um, of course, we'd also want to check for horizontal asymptotes. We're not going to do that here, but just keep in mind we could, we could check that just visually here, and we see that the, the n value and the k value are the same, and therefore the ratio of the lead coefficients is the horizontal asymptotes. The horizontal asymptote would be y equals 5 thirds there. Um, what else could we do here? Um, well, oh, I guess we could test the horizontal asymptote uh, by going to catalog here. So it's right there. And we could take the limit, couldn't we? We could take the limit as x. We're going to go right here. Right? Got that? x goes to infinity. I wanted x goes to infinity there, sorry. x goes to infinity there. Of f of x. And there's, and there's that. So hopefully, I, I think that we have this proved out. Uh, we could go back and check some of these. We could check some of these things. But I think that we 
shall not. I think that that's enough, and hopefully this has been really helpful for you. Actually, let's do this really quick. Let's go and let's graph our function and see if it turns out the way we had anticipated. So again, we went back to our uh, menu, actually went to the home page, chose graph. All you have to do here is type in f of x. Now you could have d done this the whole time, but you didn't have proof. Now you have proof, and now you can verify your proof. Hit type in f of x, you don't have to type in the function, hit enter, and there it is. So hopefully this was really helpful for you. Um, good luck, especially if you're taking those AP exams.